Internal Revenue Service, IRS Tax News. IRS Alternative Media Center, working to ensure tax info is accessible to everyone. The IRS is getting into the alternative media business now, huh? Hey, have you heard? There's this hip new media source where you can get all your news and needs met in one place. IRS.gov, baby. They really tell it like it is, man. Looking out for the people. And you know they're good because their ratings are skyrocketing. Apparently they have this new innovative marketing strategy where they monitor all of your activity and anytime you listen to some other media source, they tax the crap out of you. It's quite effective. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure getting alternative media from the tax collection arm of the federal government is a good idea. It may end up feeling like being stuck in the middle of nowhere with just a small radio which can only pick up one channel, that being IRS.gov, but the channel just keeps repeating the same song over and over again. It being called the Communist Manifesto goes something like this. Don't you worry about your problems, just give us your money, because utopia is just a day away. Yes, it's true. Utopia has only been a day away for the last 60 years, but this time it's for real. Utopia is just around the corner, I swear. We just need that last nickel in your pocket and I swear we'll finally be there. After hearing the song on repeat 5,000 times, you actually become numb enough to give them your last nickel. It didn't work. Again. Yesterday, a new lady client asked me if I was a real accountant. Are you a real professor? And I told her for the last 20 years or so, I spent most of my time doing projections, bookkeeping, and taxes. So yes, I consider myself to be a real accountant. Of course, I hold the chair of philosophy. Oh, where's that? Right here. She informed me, for no apparent reason, that she was a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian. I hate men, but I'm not a lesbian. I think explaining this kind of stuff is how people make introductions these days, but I don't know. Greetings, humans! <gasps> don't worry, that's just how they say hi. It's like a high five with an axe. She went on explaining how all of her time, morning, noon, and night, was spent thinking about women. That's why I took my vacation in Beirut to get her out of my mind and find some peace. Not gonna be easy. Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. At my next audit, the auditor asked me to confirm that I was indeed an accountant. Request confirmation. Enterprise to Starbase. Request confirmation. And I let him know that I have been practicing for many years and have always considered myself to be an accountant. But recently, I've been convinced I'm actually a lesbian. Can't wait for Miss Ellen to see what a raging lesbian I am. I'm a bigger lesbian than you. No, you're a fatter lesbian than me. So you guys, I'm king lesbian. IRS Tax Tip 2022-146, September 22nd, 2022. The IRS is committed to providing the best service possible to all taxpayers, including those who use assistive technology. The agency's alternative media center, there's a link to that here, offers a variety of resources and accessibility services for visually impaired taxpayers. Tax-related content is available in several formats for use with assistive technology. This includes screen reading software, refreshable braille display, and screen magnifying software. People can view and download hundreds of tax forms and publications in alternative formats, many of which are available in Spanish, including text-only, braille-ready files, browser-friendly HTML, accessible PDF, large print PDF. The AMC is working to make IRS resources as accessible as possible. However, not every product is available in every format. Large print products are available in a variety of languages. Right now, Braille and accessible PDFs are only available in English and Spanish. Get accessible tax products. People who need accessible tax forms, instructions, and publications can download them from the accessible forms and publication page on irs.gov. There's a link to that here. Or request paper copies by calling 800-TAX-FORM or 800-829-3000.
3676. I won't repeat that a hundred times because there will be a link to this in the description and you can go there and check it out for yourself if you so choose. Enhanced Accessibility Services, Form 9000. Taxpayers can complete Form 9000. There's a link to that here. Alternative Media Preference to choose to receive their IRS tax notices in Braille, large print, audio, or electronic formats. This includes notices about additional taxes or penalties owed. Taxpayers can include the completed form with their tax return, mail it as a standalone form to the IRS or call 800-829-1040. Again, we'll be a link to this in the description if you want to look up those numbers to elect their preferred format. Once a taxpayer makes the election, they will receive all future notices in their preferred format. Form 1040 Schedule LEP. Taxpayers can complete Form 1040 Schedule LEP to request accessible notices in their preferred language. Currently, Spanish is the only other language that the Alternative Media Center can provide. Accessibility Helpline. The IRS has an accessibility helpline to answer questions related to accessibility services and alternative media formats available to taxpayers with disabilities. Taxpayers can call 833-690-0598 if they need accessibility assistance. The accessibility helpline does not have access to taxpayer IRS account. So people can visit Let Us Help You page of irs.gov. There's a link to that page for assistance with matters regarding tax law, refunds, or other account-related issues. So again, there'll be a link to this in the description so you can get here and look at all the links here and whatnot and take a look at the phone numbers if you so choose.